Oh, come, come on, man. man. I have to I go have through to all the shadow textbooks again, 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 again for neat PG preparation. Isn't there a better source available in the market? Hey, 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 hey. Instead of running around googling for countless amount of resources for neat PG and INICT, Today is a masterclass on how you can annotate first aid using previous year questions, using grand tests and how you can make it a very concise source for your NEET PG and your INICT preparation which will help you revise your entire syllabus in the last 10 days. So watch this video right up till the end so that you don't miss out on any important point on how you should annotate first aid because you already know the importance of first aid and today I'm going to spoon feed you on how you can annotate your first aid so that it becomes your best friend in your NEED PG and INICT preparation. Alright, so let me demonstrate this to you by going to the hematology section of this uh, PYQ app called Reflex. Okay, so, so the first question over here is sickle cell anemia and the heterozygous helps in protecting against what? So we all know it is malaria so we got that correct and let's see over here in our first state uh, let's see if that particular information is still there so it is there so we have that sickle cell trait has resistance to malaria but we also need to know okay from the explanations over here the plasmodium falciparum gives us resistance to sickle cell anemia g6 period deficiency thalassemia hereditary spherocytosis okay and this information you only come to know after going through the explanations of the question so let's move on to the other mcq okay so this is burkitt's lymphoma so from uh, the mnemonic given in first aid i remember that burkitt can also be pronounced as burk eight okay burk eight so if you can see over here i have clearly written during my initial read that uh, 814 is the translocation associated and that is what I am going to mark as the option over here and yes that is correct if I see the explanation it tells me uh, associated with C my uh, gene mutation 1118 1114 is associated with mantle cell leukemia 1418 is associated with follicular lymphoma etc etc and this additional information I have to annotate over here in first aid if it's already present like uh, it is present in this particular mcq i need not put it but in case it is not present like all these of these annotations right like burkitt lymphoma is positive uh, bcl6 cd10 uh, both diffuse and burkitt's is positive for cd10 and for bcl6 most common in india is diffuse large cell so this annotation that you do you get it from the explanation of the previous question okay this is going to be your extra edge information if a question is asked about burkitt's lymphoma or anything about non-hodgkin's lymphoma be sure that you'll be asked a question from the explanation of the mcq and i already put an n and an a meaning this question has been asked in neat it has been asked in aims so there's a high likelihood that it can be asked in either of these exams again either as an option or to rule out the option so previous questions can also help you to rule out the options now this is a factoid you know some it's a fact something that you should have to know this is a tukke bazi that i have to do now i happen to be correct over here but 44 percent of the people have also said that it could be igg so this is a fact which i have to remember now facts can be just annotated in your first state as bullet points okay so for example if i go to my lymphoma section over here i have mentioned okay plasma cytoid lymphoma is associated with igm now to continue and give you an example from mycology in microbiology okay so we come across this question of which cannot be identified by the 13 beta d glucan assay now i initially when i was reading i had no clue what this thing was so i just had to do tukke bazi right um, so let's just say pneumocystis gerovisi now it is a wrong answer let me see the explanation now the explanation says that the cryptococcus is unicellular yeast so and so and it is devoid of the 1,3 beta d glycan and therefore it gives a negative result all right so this mcq now you have to locate in first state if you don't find it in first state you simply have to make a note you have to make a note so i made a note over here 
one three beta de glucan you've seen in candida assis aspergillus and pneumocystis and it is negative in cryptococcus and mucor this mucor wala part i got it from another mcq which i solved so if you see from this mcq i came to know this and this the mucor part i came to know from another mcq so this is how you keep on building up knowledge you keep on stacking up knowledge you know one mcq will not give you the entire picture of that particular topic you have to solve the entire pyq module both ini ct as well as need pg from the reflex app which gives you a very concise explanation and that is how you keep on building your entire concise source that is your first aid now for example is e coli now e coli is very frequently asked topic in both need pg and ini ct now through the explanations of the mcq i have come up with this chart now this chart has been annotated so many times you can see a lot of ends you can see a lot of a's a lot of markings over here and that is because i have kept on coming back to this particular page whether it was a previous question or it was a grand test question okay this has been asked a lot of times and therefore when i revise i will know to specifically read this chart again and again I also want to emphasize that you should delete certain pages. Like from this page over here in first state, no question has been asked, or maybe one question has been asked somewhere in the past ten years. I don't really need to read this particular page or this page because either I know it by heart already, or I don't know it. Now, for example, you see over here, right? This entire paragraph that is there, this entire table, beautifully given in first state, but in neat. nothing has been asked from this particular part of that page nothing has been asked so even though first sheet is a very concise source i don't need the need this part i drew a box along this part over here because only this has been asked the non homozygous the type of dna repair and the examples the type of dna repair and the examples and this has been edited from multiple sources it has been meticulously planned over here that i need to remember only this from this entire page and i have told now read printed notes because this flow is important while revising and i come and then i read this proof reading of mlh1 i need to know don't read ahead than this because i have clearly cross marked the entire pages over here this is of no use to me go to my other printed notes which has a lot of high yield content i would also highly encourage you to you know kind of make folds on your paper over here so that in the last 3 days of your preparation that is very very crucial you need to read this table you know that glycogen storage disorders at least two questions comes in neat every single year and that's why this page is heavily annotated with blue pen black pen and with pink markers because you know pink really stands out from the page once you see it so first year did not have a single mention of torris disease it didn't have a mention of the type 6 or herz disease so i have added that part after seeing that torris disease and herz disease are a part of glycogen storage disorders and there is a missing piece in first state and that missing puzzle i have added from my other sources this has 10 subjects in it and the size is exactly that of one subject's main notes for one hour of input into reading first state you will get so much of output and so many questions you can get correct in your neat exam i know first sheet is supposed to look shabby okay it is supposed to be filled of annotations pages charts diagrams from multiple sources whatever first sheet lacks that you are going to enter into first sheet and that is why it looks shabby that is why the binding comes out of first sheet because now it is a best friend no matter what i am sure even during my residency i will be coming back to first state because there are just these tricks and mnemonics which i have personally added in them so that i remember it also please go download the reflex app because it is made by our very own dr aditya gupta who has stopped aims three times so he knows exactly how to curate these mcqs for you and what to put in the explanations and the pricing is also very cheap you know it will all be listed over here in front of you So please go and download the Reflex app from the link given down in the description below. And especially when you want to revise the MCQs again in the last one month, when you want to do your PYQs again, you will always reset the attempts in the Reflex app and go to a specific section 
go to the INICT section and do only the INICT questions of that particular topic of a given subject. In the next video, I'll be sharing with you the 50 most important pages of first aid, the tables, the charts that can easily give you around 30 to 40 questions extra in a NEET PG. And if you just read these 50 pages in the last three days of your NEET PG preparation, three days before the exam, I'm sure it will give you at least 100 marks correct above your competition and that will fetch you your dream branch in your dream college. So if you want that particular video, let me know down in the comment section below and let me know how more I can help you to make your need PG preparation a very smooth success. And I will see you in the future video. Bye bye.